Did you know that the adipose fin actually contains no adipose tissue? Let's discuss. What is up fish people? In today's video, we talk about the myth, makeup, and function of the adipose fin. Adipose, or adipose tissue in biology terms, describes loose or connective tissue comprised primarily of adipocytes, otherwise known as lipocytes or fat cells. The main function of this tissue is to store energy in the form of fat, though additionally functions to cushion organs and insulate the body. On a trout, the adipose fin lies between the dorsal and caudal fins. Because the adipose fin is not rayed, meaning bony or spined, and appears as an unsupported finlet, one early hypothesis was that the fin stored fat, or adipose tissue. More recent studies have generally confirmed that the fin does not hold adipose, however the name stuck. So if the adipose fin is not comprised of adipose, then what does the adipose fin consist of? In a 2011 research article studying the neural networks detected in a presumed vestigial trait, ultrastructure of the salmonoid adipose fin, by Buckland, Nix, Gillis, and Remichin, a study of the adipose structure of several young hatchery-raised brown trout was conducted. These juvenile trout were euthanized by first being placed under deep anesthesia, and then each was decapitated. Adipose fins were then removed and prepared for electron microscopy. In their examination, Buckland fins and all found that the adipose fin of juvenile brown trout comprises four main layers, epidermis, dermis, hypodermis, and subdermal space. The first three of these are continuous with the layers of the integument of the trout, or the tough outer layer of skin. The subdermal space below this tough layer of skin is a region of loose connective tissue bridged by roughly two micrometer thick collagen cables spanning the two sides of the fin. In the intervening space, one finds numerous astrocyte-like cells, fibroblasts, a few small blood vessels, nerves, and groups of collagen fibers, often in bundles. But interestingly, no adipose tissue. With a better understanding of the composition of the adipose fin, the question now becomes, does the adipose fin have any function? The purpose of these fins, studied by Remichin and Temple in their study on hydrodynamic and phylogenetic aspects of the adipose fin in fishes, examine rainbow trout smolt, or post-par marked and pre-adult trout, ranging in size from 4.5 to 17.5 centimeters, where half the fish were put under anesthetic and had their adipose fins clipped off at the base. After a 51 hour recovery time, the trout were videotaped swimming in various water velocities inside a glass flow chamber, after which a playback recording of the swimming behavior of the fish was then analyzed. The results showed the removal of adipose fin on swimming performance on seven independent trials conducted on rainbow trout smolt produced an average 8% increase in caudal fin, or tail fin, amplitude relative to unclipped fish across all flow velocities. This shows that the caudal fin was worked more on fish without adipose fins than on fish with this fin. However, no adverse effects were observed in trials with smaller fish less than 7 cm or larger fish greater than 12 cm. Maybe due to the adipose fin being too small in fish under 7 cm and insignificant to fish over 12 cm with larger, more developed caudal fins. The results of this experiment show that the adipose fin may function to control vortices enveloping the caudal fin during swimming, or alternatively, function as a passive precaudal sensor to turbulent flow. In layman terms, the adipose fin is believed to act as a sensor for the caudal fin. Acknowledging the adipose fin's composition, it seems likely that the nerves found in the subdermal layer of the fin could help aid the trout in sensing and adjusting its caudal fin to turbulent flows in turn leading to improved swimming performance. A question for discussion. Some hatcheries have their adipose fins clipped before stocking trout into the wild, helping fishermen differentiate between stocked and wild fish. In other cases, clipping the adipose fin has helped biologists identify and monitor previously released disease-resistant strains of fish in the wild. From the research, it appears that only the trout in the 7 to 12 centimeter range depend on the adipose fin for swimming performance, and only in turbulent waters. Do the benefits of trout research and conservation trump the temporary swimming disadvantage an adipose clipped trout experiences? What's your opinion? Comment down below. Hope you guys learned something. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.